Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing you how to install a custom recovery on your Sprint Samsung Epic 4G Touch. First of all, you do need root access. I have a video showing you how to root this device, so I will link to that in the description of the video below. You'll see Super SU right there. So again, you do need to be fully rooted. Once you are fully rooted, you're going to need to download an application called Mobile Odin. I will link to it in the description of the video. And you're also going to need to download a tar file, a GB27 um, uh, recovery file, which I will link to in the description as well. So all links will be in the description of the video below. I downloaded both and I transferred them both onto my phone. So you'll see I go to the My Files application all files and then I go ahead and click on external SD card go into my downloads folder and you'll see I have both of them right there that's what they're gonna look like so you'll see AGAT GB27 repack tar and mobile Odin light APK make sure you have both of them on your device uh, first of all you need to install mobile Odin so just click on the APK file go ahead and go into settings go ahead and check unknown sources hit OK go ahead and go back press on the APK file once more and hit install and it's going to go ahead and install mobile Odin Lite on your device again you can download and install mobile Odin Pro from the Play Store if you would like but just go ahead and open it then uh, we can open it on up grant it super user permission so go ahead and hit grant and it's going to go ahead and load up detect everything for us you'll see this window pop up it requires an add-on to be able to flash firmware so just go ahead and hit cancel no need for that only kernel flashing is enabled that is fine just go ahead and hit OK you can follow him on Google Plus or Twitter and now we are ready to go so mobile Odin Lite if you're familiar with Odin on your PC you can go ahead and feel free to use that just put the cur the tar file in the PDA slot of Odin put your phone in download mode and you can flash it via your PC I just recommend Modin, mobile Odin because it's just very simple press the kernel button right here and find it on your internal or external SD wherever you transfer that tar file over to I have mine on my external SD card in my downloads folder and you will see that AGAT GB27 repack tar is right there I'm gonna select that so you'll see the kernel file is there now um, I believe all you have to do now is hit flash where it says start the firmware flash and it says your battery is at 15%. A battery level of over 50% is recommended when flashing. I, I concur with this. I highly recommend 50%. Uh, mine's charging, so I'm not too worried. I'm just going to go ahead and hit continue. Flashing firmware is dangerous. Continue at your own risk. Yes, continue at your own risk. And just hit continue. Uh, it says MD5 signatures have been detected. Do you want to verify them? I just go ahead and hit check. Just double check and make sure they get verified. And once MD5 has been verified, it's just going to go ahead and flash that uh, that kernel for us. And it will also give us a custom recovery. So uh, Mobile Owen's going to do all the work for us. And I believe just reboot the device. It, might go, it doesn't go into recovery. So it's just going to reboot the device. And once it boots back up, I will go ahead and show you how to get into that custom recovery. And also go ahead and go over it for you guys. All right, so my phone's booted back up. Now I'm sure you guys want to know how to get back into that custom recovery. All right, now your phone has booted back up. I'm sure you want to know how to get back into that custom recovery. All you have to do is just go ahead and power off your device. So shut it on down. All right, and once fully powered off, all you have to do is go ahead and press and hold volume up and the power button at the same time. Keep it held down until the Samsung screen lights up. So keep holding it, keep holding it. Once the Samsung screen lights up, go ahead and let go. And it should take us into our custom recovery. And it is AGAT recovery, so you'll see down there AGAT recovery, and that's it. So that's how you boot into our now custom recovery. You can go ahead and flash a ROM, etc. Um, I do recommend making an Android backup, so go to Backup and Restore to Navigate. Use the volume up and down and power button to select. So select Backup and Restore and make an Android backup. I highly recommend doing so. It's the first thing I always recommend doing when you install a custom recovery. So go ahead and go back, and you can navigate through. You can wipe, uh, do factory resets. You can install zips, and you're ready to go. So you now have a full custom recovery on your device, and that's it. So go ahead, and you can. I'm just going to hit reboot system now, and that would be it. So that's how you install, install a custom recovery on your Sprint Samsung Epic 4G Touch. Any questions, feel free to ask. Leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to me. I'd really appreciate it. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.